All right, honey. You can look at the camera now. Not measured by material computations. When great forces around the move in the world, we learn we're spirits, not animals. He said there's something going on in time and space and beyond time and space, which, whether we like it or not, spells you. You and I have a rendezvous with death. We'll preserve for our children this, the last best hope of man on earth, or we'll sentence them to take the last step into a thousand years of darkness. Freedom has never been so fragile, so close to slipping from our grasp as it is at this moment. All right, we're here at the makeshift ORP area slash LPOP. So far it's holding up. Uh, we're in an undisclosed location in the uh, North Georgia mountains. I'm here with my freedom dog. I have one along the way from my base camp all throughout the dense vegetation on the ridge. I marked out a path using marker tape. So I'm gonna head on my way back up that way from this LPOP. From here we do have um, a position overlooking a, a road from a far distance. Um, not too far to where we also can't listen as well. So uh, I'd say about probably about a football field away. Um, it gives us a good line of sight. So it's kind of what we want to look for in this mountain terrain. It's a little hard because the vegetation can get really super dense. All right, so uh, it can, can be quite challenging to have an LPOP in the, in the Appalachian Mountains or just in the mountains in general. Doesn't really matter what kind of mountain. You gotta be, you gotta be methodical about it. <clears throat> you gotta use different places all year round uh, through the winter and the spring you know with the seasons so you got to be able to adjust for that if um, you need to move it you know a little bit one way or the other up closer but so far this is actually pretty good we, uh, we grabbed a bunch of dead wood and uh, we just kind of stacked it all up right here Kind of made ourselves a little, we grabbed a bunch of rocks. Made ourselves like a, a hard cover. You can just throw a netting over this. It would be quite fun. Natural vegetation. Majestic. All right, so what I brought with me today to try to get an idea of how far away is this LPOP from the base camp that we use in our AO, area of operation. It being our general location where we set up camp. Eventually we'll have multiple base locations, ORPs, uh, as well as LPOPs. So depending on the, the general area, what zone, it's kind of getting the, the general gist of how everything's gonna work, how it does work, what you need to do um, to be able to communicate, maneuver, overcome your obstacles. All right, so I'm gonna measure from here uh, how far away it is. And then I'm going to take that distance and then figure out how much phone line cord I'm going to need. A DIY field phone. So basically we're using old school telephones and telephone wire, considered closed communication, secure communication. But the only way someone's gonna be able to get in that phone line is they'd have to physically tap on to that phone line. The security is on its up and up walks down the lines having it pretty well hidden i want to figure out for distance wise am i going to need a booster station so after so many feet the signal the power and the phone line might drop so i need to figure out where in between i might need to put a booster station which would be basically some more batteries hooked up to the line juicing juicing the battery uh, juicing the lines up basically with more power 
I have a bunch of different ammo boxes. I have a bunch of different building material, LEDs, all the good stuff that we're gonna need to make this field phone operational. This will be the first test. There has not been any, as, as, far, as far as I know, nobody has done field testing with a field DIY phone, uh, field phone, DIY field phone. What the fuck? All right, so no one is tested. There's, there's a couple of videos and they don't really tell you how to put it together. They don't really go through them while they're putting it together. So we're, that's gonna be something we're gonna do different as well. We're gonna go through the process of me building this and you guys are gonna be there with me the whole way. So it could be a learning curve, as we could say, and low voltage, telecommunications, terrain, weather also can play a factor. Hopefully I get these things water tight enough, water, weather resistant. And hopefully if everything goes good, everybody gets to see the outcome of a DIY fuel phone using telephones all right this is the first step of a DIY field phone you need to go out to the area where you want to use it at and you need to measure it how much phone line are you going to need step one all right and then step two is going to be putting that phone together field phone together building it and then making the adequate adjustments or the distance that we need as far as power goes. Then comes testing, and then hopefully, if we're lucky as hell, the first time on the first test works and we're all good to go. But knowing how fucking things are, it's gonna be complicated, and I'm looking forward to it. And you guys are gonna learn with me. All right, so, so first off, I've placed my markers all the way back to base camp. I'm gonna follow the trajectory, the terrain um, association that I'm using on the ridge. So I don't really need to use actual land navigation at this point. I've been out here enough to where I pretty much know where everything's at, how the ridges work, the saddles, all that good shit. Thought it'd be a good uh, opportunity to kind of show y'all where I'm at. All right, so what we have here is 500 feet. And then what I did was uh, I just took this measuring fucking thing all the way from the LPOP all the way back here towards my base camp. And then uh, we're gonna get the full length. So far, I think we're about a little past halfway. So 500 fucking feet is quite a little jump on uh, how much phone line I'm gonna need? I think I'm gonna need some more phone line. But uh, I'm really interested to see how it does. Supposedly it's it works up to about a mile and a half um, with no boosters or anything. So um, like I said, uh, we're, we're gonna be field testing it and we're gonna figure out what exactly is its potential and hopefully uh, get people more inspired to do some close communication uh, landline type of communication and more secure and getting the feng shui of how to do it and that's what this segment's about patriots out oh, we're falling hide away we can't get to our feet we all been grinding every day to find opportunity we all get lost alone